Hey, what's up? This is Chosen Double Upload Hype because we've got a lot going on today. This post that I'm going to show you here in a second, there is 22 new champions coming to raid. So I'm going to give you a first reaction to all of them. I have not looked at this yet. I don't have time to do a deep dive or you guys would be here for two hours watching this. So we're going to go through them really quickly, get a first reaction to which ones are good, which ones are trash, and get you what you need to know about these new champions that are being announced for raid. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first things first, let's get this pulled up here so you can see the post that I am talking about. Alright, we've got, uh, so this is a post coming from Valkyrie, community manager for Raid, and it's going to be highlighting all the new champions, and then a couple other things as well. Uh, basically saying up here, 22 new ones for you guys to enjoy, the entire list is below. That's not all, we'll, we'll also be removing rare skill tomes from Classic Arena Gold Tier and Clan Boss Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare. Uh, that's a good thing. I hope that means that they're adding a higher chance to get the Epic uh, and Legendary books as well. So that would be a good change that is, is definitely welcome there. Okay, so first ones for, uh, first things first, we've got War Mother, I mean uh, War Caller. Uh, Ursa, Ursaga War Caller. Uh, okay, looks like uh, War Mother's sister here. We've got... Um, I'm gonna go through the, I'm gonna go through these quickly, guys, and let you know kind of the highlights of which ones are good, which ones stand out to me at first here. One enemy, 45% chance of placing a block. Cool, I like that. Uh, CC on an A1 is good, and then AOE. We don't we don't know what the books do. I bet this takes it to a four turn cooldown. AOE, crit damage debuff. Okay, so that's a really good sustainability. Uh, oh, it's got a qualifier whose attack is high. Well, okay, that's the people you're gonna want to decrease attack anyway, so that's all right. Uh, decrease speed what whose attack is equal or lower than their defense wow that's pretty good that's that's a pretty cool ability there uh bottoms up places ally protection except this champion and a strengthen that's again that's ally protection tanky decrease speed decrease defense break uh, uh a block uh, some cc on the a1 there and R of 33 percent in all battles Damage decreases. Yeah, this is a legendary. Okay. Uh, and then we got a passive. Decreases the damage of all allies received from critical hits by 30%. Uh, this champion. Okay, so yeah, going to be a high HP champion. Okay, so that's some potential there. Uh, I, I like this champion. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this uh, an A or an A minus. Uh, just my first glance. Uh, again, I can't see what the books do. And I don't know the multipliers. So it's hard to give you. Uh, an accurate perfect grade but my first reaction is like a or a minus I, I i like this champion looks looks pretty solid and avoid legendary so okay definitely good there and then we've got a vergumkar uh, okay so i did a i just did a dedicated video about this kit so i'll try to remember to have a card pop up there in the top right if you want to check that out but I, I did do a dedicated video it, it's like the most recent video on my channel so i've got a full video going over uh that champion there then we're getting into it epic here. Uh, Baroth the Blood Soaked. Uh, an epic barbarian. So I'm going to try to crank through these quickly for you guys. First hit, 25% chance. Second hit, decreasing. Okay, not bad on A1. Multi hit with turn meter manipulation. Uh, just one enemy two times. First hit place to shield on all allies. Second hit. Okay, that's kind of cool. If we can get to do a three turn cooldown, that's not bad. A little bit of sustain there. I, I, I can dig that. Oh, wow. Uh, text one enemy two times. Basic. Oh, ascended version. Okay. That's the one we want to read. One enemy two times versus uh, decrease attack. Uh, uh, okay. Second hit. Placing defense break. Um, interesting. Um, okay. Not bad. Um, I'd give this one like a B minus maybe. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to get through the ones. It's through we haven't seen a champion look like a mouse yet. Interesting. Um, Fane. Uh, attacks one enemy two times. Um, interesting. Okay. We got turn meter manip on the A1. And then one enemy 75% chance of placing two poisons and decrease attack. Uh, that's good for the clan boss right there. Um, the A1 is not good for the clan boss though. One enemy three times. Defense break. Uh, second hit, placing a weekend. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, so this has some potential versus the clan boss here. I'm going to give this like an A-. Uh, that looks pretty cool. And then we've got Caden, Dark Elves. 
Uh, some CC on the A1. Not bad. Okay, I like that. Uh, then we've got AoE that decreases attack. That's pretty cool. And then we've got revives, two random allies. We've got revive and increased defense. A pretty big cooldown there. Um, yeah, okay. And all right, uh, and, and all right, pretty average epic there. Um, I'm gonna try to find the uh, the best ones here. But this this mouse, it looks like it has a lot of potential for the clan boss. That's pretty cool. The A1, uh, at least it's a multi hitter, but uh, it's not gonna steal any turn meter from the clan boss. But the A2 and the A3 are pretty crazy for the clan boss. Um, and then we've got Two Hawk, the Wanderer. Um, it's like one enemy two times. Okay, increasing, uh, again, CC on an A1. We like that. Um, okay, and then we've got AoE, decrease speed. Uh, also increase speed in this champion. Heal this champion. Um, AoE, decrease speed. Not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll take that. Take one enemy. Steals 50% of the target's turn meter. Has a 75% chance of placing a stun. I bet you can book that to 100 or 90 or something. Uh, steals... Termeter. Okay, that could be pretty cool. Uh, stun's not going to work against bosses. But, yeah, that could be good for uh, for really prioritizing a certain target. Decreases damage taken by this champion. When their HP drops, increase ally. Okay, uh, not bad. It could have some decent utility. Draconis. Avoid rare. Okay. Uh, attack one enemy with heals on the uh, on the lowest ally by a little bit of the damage inflicted. Uh, it's not a very big heal, but it is on the A1, and, and it's a rare, so okay, we'll take it. Shield equal all allies. Okay, I like that. A rare that places shield. I like that. Uh, removes all debuffs from the ally with the lowest HP, then heals them. Um, yeah, not bad. Okay, for a void rare, at least some utility there. Then we've got Sanctum Protector. Uh, okay, we've got A1 with CC. Very cool. Um, and then ascended attacks all enemies increased defense on it is the it is the small version uh, But it is aoe plus a, a buff on on your entire team. So I like that um, 75% chance placing a provoke. Okay, so not bad for a rare pretty solid um, And then we've got another rare for the dwarves uh, We've got poison. Okay, so this could possibly be a clan boss champion here. We've got poison on the a1 um, so I like that and then AOE decrease attack uh, Also places decrease speed Okay, so yeah pretty cool there. I, I do like that. I, I like that, uh, that that'll also uh, Be some sustain for those uh, for dungeon progression Heal all allies by 15% okay, so yeah, you can build this guy as a high rare uh, utility champ uh, Yeah, pretty solid for a rare and then we've got uh, Qua Qu Quaster, <laughs> however you say that. Uh, one enemy inflicts. Um, okay, that's kind of meh. Text one enemy. Okay, that's that's all right. Uh, has a seventy-five percent two random. Okay, that's cool. Uh, buff removal. That that'd be really good for like the magic keep. Uh, okay, so all right. Renouncer. One enemy two times. Removes one random debuff from this champion. Um, eh. What do I mean? Oh, increased speed on all allies. Oh, if it kills. No, okay. Uh, Renouncer is not going to be very good. That, that qualifier is too brutal. Um, Headsman. Text one enemy two times each hit. 10% chance of placing a fear debuff. Okay, cool. I like CC on an A1. You know that. Then we've got AoE. 30% chance of placing heal reduction. Eh. Eh, I mean it is a three turn cooldown, which is cool on an AOE, but heal reduction is hard to get consistent value out of and then okay Yeah, uh, headsman again, probably not gonna be too great um, But not every rare can be amazing. So, you know, it is what it is uh, It's like one enemy will ignore shield buffs. That's too situational uh, and Then we got AOE extra crit damage stacks. Okay, could be a decent damage dealer um, decreases max HP. Nope. So that one's uh, pur Purgator not going to be very, very good as well. Uh, then we've got Drowned Bloat Wraith. One me. Fifty percent chance of placing a stun. Uh, the chance of placing the stun debuff increases. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I, I can get on board with that. AOE a uh, or AOE on the A2, and we've got AOE defense break uh, and fear. Um, okay, cool. 
yeah, I, I, I like this one so far here. Uh, he was a champion by 15% of max HP every time this champion or now every kill. Um, it is only this champion, and this champion doesn't have provoke or anything, so doesn't synergize that great, but um, all right for a rare. Solaris uh, attacks one enemy, 30% chance of removing one random. I like that. Uh, A1 buff removal, that's good. Uh, attacks one enemy, places a shield on this champion. Uh, one enemy, 75% chance with a stun. Um, okay, pretty reliable there, but it is going to be a big cooldown. Um, okay, average for a rare. And then uh, Wyvern Bane, I test one of me. Okay, not bad for boss fights there. Uh, like Faction Wars bosses, and then one enemy. Okay, good, good. Maybe for the Fire Knight or Faction Wars bosses. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so th these things aren't going to synergize with the clan boss. Uh, but yeah, a pretty, uh, possibly a worthwhile rare for, for bringing into the Auric Faction Wars for Faction bosses. Um, Wagon Bane. One enemy, uh, decrease accuracy. Eh, that's all right. One enemy uh, on the alley with the lowest HP. Okay, they're adding a lot of those abilities to the game. Uh, some, some kind of prioritization target heals. Um, it's, it's a baby continuous heal. That's, that's not going to be too good there. And then we've got some defensive chance facing it. Uh, defense break. Um, again, uh, that would be good for boss fights, possibly faction wars bosses, fire knight type stuff. Um, okay. All right, nothing, nothing amazing here. And then, um, one of me two times each hit. Uh, decrease attack, that's cool. Jit places heal reduction, okay. We can kind of skip over this, unfortunately, now. Uh, and this champion, because the cooldown ripped to shreds. Okay, uh, it's gonna be too hard to get consistent value out of out of that one there. Uh, attacks one enemy, 20. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of go fast, and then at the end, uh, for, for, for a minute or two, I'll go over the highlights. Uh, of what I really want you to to take away from this. So I'm trying to skim through these quickly. I apologize for that. Uh, I just don't want to keep you here too long and, and be too long-winded going over this. Uh, block cooldown skills. I like the CC and the A1. That's, that stuff is really good for min-maxing Faction Wars levels. Uh, one enemy, 40% chance of placing a stun. Uh, okay, that's cool. And then continuous heal on... That's cool. Also, block uh, debuffs... If they have less than 100%. Okay, so this one's good. Uh, Dolor, Lore Keeper. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty solid rare for the dwarves. This, this one to be worth building for Faction Wars for a lot of people out there. Um, okay. And then Dune Strider, one enemy. Uh, decreased defense. Okay, not bad. Each critical hit decreases the target. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, a little bit tougher to get value out of that in case she hits the same enemy twice. But all right. And then attacks all enemies. Um, 75 well, a lot of heal reduction in, in these champions. Interesting. Okay. And then, uh, 3% chance of placing a decreased defense. One damage increase by 5%. This one enemy places on all allies of critical. Okay. Uh, a pretty average rare there. And then the last one here is going to be attack one enemy. 40% chance of placing a 50% decreased speed. Okay. And then attack all enemies two times each hit. Has a decrease. So decrease speed and decrease accuracy. Attacks one enemy three times each hit of a big defense break. Okay. So uh, also same thing. Could uh, could have some decent utility in faction wars, especially the boss stages, uh, lowering the speed and doing defense break there. So okay, not bad, not amazing, but not bad. And then here in the miscellaneous section, uh, we've got removed the, the, the repeating the same thing here that they, that they set up top. Okay, so let's put a bow on this and, and wrap this up and, and kind of the things that jumped out to me. Uh, the Void Legendary uh, Ursiga, War Mother's uh, sister here, is pretty good. I, I, I like this. This has a lot of potential. Uh, I, I would give this like an A or A-. minus. Definitely looks like a lot of fun there uh, as a Void Legendary for Barbarians. And then uh, the, uh, Virga Makar is the uh, is the fusion that's going to be starting on Monday, and I've got a dedicated video about that. It is my uh, most recent video besides this one on my channel. We do a full deep dive into that. But he looks uh, he looks okay. Looks like he has some potential and 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 could be fun for uh, for countering provoke comps in the arena and, and helping out some of those absorb teams to help compete with uh, with those who can't do amazing in the speed meta. Um, and then we've got 
what else stood out to me? Uh, the third thing that stood out to me was this mouse champion here being really good in the clan boss. Uh, th this has uh, some synergy options here to, to do some fun things. We've got some self-sustain and some defense break and weaken and also some poisons and decreased attack. So Fane could be one of the best epics in the game for the clan boss. I liked that. Um, and and then in terms of the rares, there was some cool stuff. Uh, so, some 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 decent options for rares, uh, especially helping out with like faction wars boss fights and maybe some some mid game faction wars progression. So um, yeah, all in all, uh, I think this is gonna be good additions to the game. We 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 had we had a couple good champions, a, a few decent champions, and then some eh champions. So kind of uh, what I expected going into this uh, in terms of reviewing these champions. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I really enjoy your input. Which champions stood out to you? I will also link to this post in a pinned comment so it's super easy to find so you can pull it up and read through it yourself. And and yeah, like let's drive some discussion. Let's see what, what let's hear what you guys think, uh, where you agree with me, where you disagree with me, and which champions stood out to you. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to head over to live stream if you're watching this video right when it came out i am going to be live let's hang out talk about these champions and have some fun uh playing raids so yeah as always thanks for watching have a good rest of your day peace